Okay, we are staying in an Encore Panoramic King Suite. We will check it out. Let me give you the tour. We'll start in here. We are actually in the living room area. This is basically a bunch of different rooms. You have a beautiful desk area here. Plugs that kind of pop up from the table, which is a nice touch. We have a gorgeous, stunning view out the windows here. You can see Resorts World. Beautiful sofa here. And when you make your way into the main area, there's the wet bar here with all the fancy expensive stuff and a beautiful king size bed here. Big long hallway with the biggest mirror I've ever seen in any hotel room ever. This is massive. And in here is the gorgeous bathroom. I love when they think to add a vanity stool, TV, you have a water closet. They give you robes. I miss having robes in hotels. There's a big, nice soaking tub here and a beautiful walk-in shower. Really beautiful bathroom. I love the art in here, but that is our absolutely breathtaking room. I think it's time for us to explore a little bit more of the Encore and the Win and see what we see. We're standing outside of Encore Beach Club, which is the day club here at Encore, and they have an indoor entrance for guests, but there's also an outside entrance for people who want to come and party. This is Excess, one of the best nightclubs in Las Vegas. They're open on Fridays and Saturdays. They also have a uh, night swim here. The chain smokers usually play here. It's awesome. If you go just past the pool at the Encore, they actually have a promenade full of shopping. Lots of high-end luxury goods here. One of my absolute favorite parts of the win, and there are a lot of them, is this amazing lobby. It is so, so beautiful, you guys. It's worth it just to come in here and take some gorgeous photos. We can't talk about the win without talking about Steve Wynn. Steve Wynn was the main designer, operator, everything for some of the biggest hotels in Las Vegas, including the Golden Nugget, Mirage, Treasure Island, and the Epic Bellagio. And I think you can see a lot of the Bellagio influences here in the win. This hotel used to be the Desert Inn and it was destroyed and they built the win, which originally was called Le Reve, which means the dream, in 2005. Okay, everyone, we just got all changed and ready, and now we are going to dinner at Sinatra. We are incredibly excited. It's inside the Encore Tower, so let's take you with us.
Okay, y'all, we just stopped back at the room real quick to grab something that we forgot, but I wanted to talk about Sinatra while I'm here in the room because we got in there and the atmosphere was so classy and upscale and elegant and amazing that I just didn't feel great about vlogging in there, to be totally honest. Um, but that being said, I think Sinatra might be my new favorite restaurant in Las Vegas. I'll kind of go over everything I got with you guys. So I started with the signature cocktail, the Le Fleur which was uh, champagne, rosé, Aperol, and grapefruit. It was fresh, delicious, incredible. Mr. Ruby got the Sinatra smash. Now, Frank Sinatra was known for loving Jack Daniels. So it was like a Jack Daniels with muddled blackberries and vanilla and cassis. It was like very balanced. It was really, really good, even for those who aren't like big Jack Daniels fans. Our mains, uh, Mr. Ruby got the special, and I can't quite remember everything that was in it, but I know they had a ragu piece of meat and a filet. The meat was perfectly prepared. Absolutely delicious and then I got some gnocchietti that had a creme fraiche and caviar on the top and it was perfect because oftentimes pasta they give you way way too much this was like the absolute perfect portion and we finished with our dessert which was the uh, chocolate mousse Frank's like fedora and then the panna cotta was flavored with Jack Daniel. The atmosphere is so incredible. It's all orange because that was Frank's favorite color. It has beautiful photos of him. It's just absolutely incredible and I totally think everybody needs to go and try Sinatra. Now we have one more stop on our amazing tour of a night at the Encore. Well, hello from Paracel Down. You guys did not think I was gonna be staying at the Wynn without coming here, right? Today it's actually really busy. I think things are really picking up in Vegas or a lot of you are taking my advice and coming here. Either way, just put your name on a list. It moves pretty quickly. Anyway, I'm having a lychee martini and it is delicious, as is everything on this menu. Okay, just finished our delicious drinks. That was so much fun. Uh, we also saw Shia LaBeouf just casually playing blackjack. So that was a real thing that actually legitimately happened. And now uh, we're exhausted and it is time to go and just relax in our beautiful suite and go to bed and we will see you all in the morning. Alexa, open the curtains. Okay. Okay, good morning from the Encore, you guys. We slept so hard, that bed was so comfortable, and we grabbed a little bit of coffee in the lobby. Now I think it is time to go find some breakfast at Terrace Point Cafe and show you guys the pool. Okay, we just stopped at the Terrace Point Cafe right next to the pool. It's just behind the buffet, and I am having some avocado toast. Mr. Ruby's having an omelet, and then we will go to the pool. Just made it down to the wind pool. It is gorgeous. The chairs are amazing. The Encore does have its own separate pool. It's just a little smaller. This one's huge and gorgeous. There's also a 21 and over pool here, but it is topless, so there's definitely no filming in there. Just got back from the pool. It was amazing. We didn't want to leave, but it is getting close to time to go, so I'm gonna take a shower, change, and then I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. So let me tell you all how I feel about the win. I can easily see why the win encore is some people's absolute favorite and considered the best on this trip. Totally get it. The room is stunning. 
it's gorgeous. I honestly expected it to be, to be totally fair, but there's things about it that are even more elevated that I just didn't expect. The bath mats on the ground are like real plush, like real bath mats that you'd have at your house. Toiletries are extra large, so there's like plenty of lotion. The bed was the most comfortable bed I've ever slept in, ever. Things like that just, you know, elevate the experience to a point where you, you feel more comfortable in your room than you do in your own house. The Encore itself has its own casino, and I will say that the Encore Tower particularly is actually much more quiet than the Wind Tower. When you're over at the Wind and in that casino, it's more loud, lively, busy. The Encore is a little bit more quiet and relaxed. There's still people, but everybody's just very much in a quieter, more relaxed space. Lines to get coffee and things are shorter. That's really nice. The casinos themselves have a great variety of games. All the tables are always full of people partying and enjoying themselves. It's really nice. The entire aesthetic of this hotel is just absolutely gorgeous and it's exactly how I want a hotel to look, to be honest. This sort of high end is really, really classy to me and something I really like. Food wise, okay, the only drawback, there is nothing cheap or even like Okay, not bad. Uh, most things are pretty expensive here at the Wynn. We did eat at Charlie's, which was the like bar and grill area by the sports book, and we split a quesadilla that was like $15. It wasn't terrible. My avocado toast this morning was $19, <laughs> and we ate a beautiful meal last night at Sinatra, obviously, which I thought was fair, but still high end. Everything in here is high end. There's not like a Starbucks, there's no chain restaurants in here. This is all specifically designed to be in the wind and kind of transport you to a different place. So be prepared to spend a little bit more on food because location wise you are at the furthest end on this side. You could technically walk over to Tacos El Gordo or the Pepper Mill and they are pretty reasonably close, that's not bad. Location wise is not the best. However, this may be good for some of you because it is really, really quiet on this end of the strip. Anytime we live stream and we walk all the way down here by the wind, it gets real quiet and there's way less people over here. The pool area is gorgeous, absolutely beautiful, uh, swanky, pretty, I, no complaints. The pool chairs are some of the best I've ever seen for being free chairs. They're like soft and padded and amazing. The hotel is family friendly-ish, I would say. There were families here. They are very, very strict about letting the kids be anywhere near the casino though. We are in an Encore King suite. This room cost us $243 for one night. The average in this tower is actually 300 to like $350. We just got a really good promotion and we also got $30 in food comp. So we got a really great deal. I'm sure you could too if you look for the deals. The average for regular rooms like over in the wind tower, a just standard room, not a suite, is about $230 a night. The rooms are worth $230 a night. I would say that the Wynn does a beautiful job of being upscale, swanky, classy, but not stuffy. They have whole smoking floors here. They have a topless pool. It still manages to be Vegas, but just on like a more high end level. So those are my final thoughts on the Encore and the Win. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you all in my next one. Alexa, say goodbye. Sorry, I'm not sure.